In this video, we're going to look at three ways that you can share links with students using Microsoft Teams. So in this first example here, I've loaded up the student view of an assignment in Microsoft Teams, and you can see that I've added in the instruction box, I've typed out some text for them to read and then provided links directly within uh, the assignment. And so that's probably my favorite way to do it is to put the links right into the assignment text. That way it just follows a linear path and they can read along and click the link when they're supposed to get to it. Um, so that's one of my favorite ways to do it. And I'll show you two other ways and I'll show you how to insert the links here. So I'm just going to go back and then to edit assignment. And what you can do is I just have a couple links I can use an example here. So let's say I wanted to share this uh, Flipgrid one. So I can just click share, copy my link, come back here, and I'm just going to highlight this text and I believe you can either click on this little link icon and then also control K is not working for some reason anymore. Usually control K is the shortcut to insert a link, but it's not happy with me right now. So anyway, I'm just going to click this and then it says, you know, what link do you want? I'm going to paste that in, hit that check mark. And so now just like these other links up here, um, this is a, now it'll, when I save it, it'll be a, a link and the students could click on that and get there. So that's uh, that's one way to do it right in the assignments. Another way in the assignments is to click on add resources. Uh, the main reason that I do the add resources is if I want to attach a Word document or PowerPoint or some kind of document, um, but you can also um, just straight attach a link. So I'll just give an example. If I wanted to, students to watch this YouTube video, I could come over here, grab the link for the YouTube video, and then say link and paste that in and then I could say the text is going to be a link to you know YouTube video or whatever so that's all there and then again when they um, if I update it and student view now it will be down here under the reference materials where they can just click on it and go out to the actual video and then the third way would be I'm just going to use the student portal as an example so I'm going to copy that link and then you can come up here and so this is outside of all the assignments this is adding it to one of the uh, kind of tabs across the top and all of your channels have these tabs across the top so I'll just put it in algebra so hit the plus and then say what app do you want to do and it should just be a website is the one I'm looking for here and then it says I can name it so I'm gonna say student portal and uh, paste it in I don't need to do that and then save it so now when the students are here they can see post files and then click on student portal and kind of get that web page to load right there now this isn't really my, usually my favorite way of doing it just because sometimes it doesn't load correctly and then it's also making the page a lot smaller if you do put it in here the students can um, click on this button right here to pop it out in its own tab but usually I would use one of the other two methods because I just think it's easier to give them uh, let them see the full screen instead of this kind of shrunken window but anyways those are three options for adding uh, links to students in teams